Hi, I am Jim Jackson, and I am bonding over bonds with Lawrence Bolton. Lauren, February was a very difficult month in the fixed income markets with all of the major indices down for the month. Yes, it was a challenging month, Jim. Um, some better economic numbers, particularly in the labor, labor market, and uh, inflation cooling less than hoped has created more uncertainty over the magnitude and number of future Fed rate hikes. Yes, we, we did see a material increase in rates across the entire Treasury curve last month as rates increased by at least 29 basis points at each point on the curve. Mm -hmm. The market also started to price in a higher terminal Fed funds rate that is more in line with what the Fed has been indicating. Mm -hmm. Very true, Jim. Uh, muni returns were down for February, although still positive mm -hmm. for the year so far. Um, we still think this is potentially a good entry point for investors mm -hmm. based on starting yields that are much higher than this time last year and really at levels that we haven't seen consistently in years. You know, yields have certainly moved on the taxable side as well, primarily driven by the increase in Treasury yields. The positive is that investors can put money to work at yields in most cases, we have not seen since the great financial crisis. Mm -hmm. So what this means is that you can potentially generate more income per dollar invested at the end of February than at the end of January. Yeah. I mean, I would point out, Jim, that with the Fed continuing to tighten monetary policy, mm -hmm. the recession risks are elevated. Uh, we're certainly paying attention to the credit exposure in our portfolios and relying on our fundamental credit research to evaluate our positions. That's an excellent insight, Lauren. It is our view that an active approach to credit allocation is critical in the current environment. Thank you, Lauren, and thank you for bonding with us over bonds.